guys, Maria here. I wanted to quickly film an update on my Pan That palette with the original The Rock Pro palette. I started working on this, I believe, near the beginning of December. I would have to go back and look to find the original date, but I can leave that below in case you're interested. And this is my two-month update. Yeah, so I've been working on this for two months, so that would make sense. I would have been beginning in around beginning of December. So there you go. So here is what my palette currently looks like. I'll kind of hold it still for just a moment so you can see. I apologize if the lighting's a little bad, but I got to work with what I got. So I still haven't messed with white at all. You can see that my cream shade, I've got a lot out of, and I expect I will finish that in this third month. I got a dip going here in, let's see, this is taupe, so I've been using it pretty regularly. I haven't touched my light pink shade since I started this project. I've been using mauve regularly, but I have found that the matte shades on the top are a lot more tightly packed than these shimmery shades, so these are a little bit slower to use up. This color here is Sable, and I've actually really enjoyed using this in the last month. I have a good little dip going. I'm, I think you can see that. And when I first started, this was pretty much like brand new. I had barely used it. Um, espresso, I used in the last week quite a bit. But beyond that, I feel like I didn't give it a lot of love in month number two. So I need to get to work on that. Black, I've been using pretty much daily to set my gel eyeliner. And I think that's probably going to be the way I use it up. I don't, like there is a dip in black, but I have no idea how long it's going to be before I hit pan. And then moving down to this row of shimmery shades, I didn't use nude very much this month. I think I'm going to play with it more in February. Champagne, I played with a little bit in the first month, but it's just so annoying and glittery. So that might be one of the last shades to go. I don't know. Gold I used up for a week, um, not used up, but I used for a solid week and got a little bit of a dip going, so I need to keep going with that. As you can see, my light bronze is doing pretty good. I've got one whole side of it cleared, so I just need to get this other side going. Pewter I used some, not a ton. It's not my favorite. I haven't played with Garnet anymore. This deep purple and slate. I think I wore slate once and I don't remember if I wore deep purple at all. So basically the colors I really enjoyed a lot this month were um, the cream shade is great for blending out colors and then my light bronze I really liked. I used the sable color quite a bit and mauve of course is my favorite probably from this whole palette. Um, but I did step out of my comfort zone and used espresso for an entire week over my whole lid. And also, let's see, I used gold over my whole lid as well. So I'm thinking this coming month, I want to give myself some goals for shades I really want to play more with. So I'm going to go ahead and throw garnet in there because I don't really think this is... It's not that special of a color. Like, it looks nice on the finger and even, let's see, I'll swatch it. It even looks pretty nice on a swatch, but on my lids, it just doesn't look that good. So I wanna work with that more this month. I would like to finish up light bronze and I wanna play with gold more. And I think I'm gonna try mixing the gold, sorry, this is garnet and gold to get more of a bronzy kind of look maybe. I'm gonna give that a try. I would like to hit more pan on nude. I would like to have it more cleared out like this one is. And I wanna hit pan on sable. So I'm gonna say I wanna hit pan on sable and gold and garnet this month. Those are gonna be my three goals. I wanna hit pan on sable, garnet, and gold and I want to use up light bronze. So I don't know, do you think that's possible? We shall see. So that's my update for being two months into only, and oh, the other thing I want to tell you is I've only used this palette. I haven't pulled any other shadows out at all. 
since the beginning of December. And I'm still feeling pretty good about that. I don't feel like I'm like depriving myself or anything like that. I am enjoying using this palette. There's just quite a few shades in it that I find don't really look that great on me personally. But I do really love the Lorac Pro Palette. So I hope you guys are having a lot of success. I've seen some of you guys who have already hit pan. I know Amber F has already hit pan on the slate color which is amazing. I need her perseverance on that color because it just looks so dark on me. I don't know. I need to play with it more and figure out a way to use it better. So I will see you guys again soon. Bye.